Hi everyone, it's your girl Anita Flying High here, back with another esoteric commentary. This is um, Portland Thorns versus Houston Dash. Let's go. So as you see, Portland's lineup playing in a three-back. That girl Janine Becky is out here. The Gemini, Christine Sinclair. And uh, so they're um, going to start Morgan Weaver out uh, instead of uh, Smith. Well, you know, we're all about Houston today. Um, playing in a 4-2-3-1 with Shea Groove up top. <laughs> and, um, you know, Chapman's coming back for Eddie. Um, so interesting midfield with Hedge and um, Sophie. But, of course, um, Sanchez, Daily Prince, they've been the, full, the front, you know, three. They've been really uh, pushing Houston forwards. Uh, Sanchez, what a great, um, you know, we're happy that she's here in Houston. All right. Well, I happen, I happen to already kind of got spoiled by what had happened the match. Because uh, I was sharing the last commentary I just did. I was sharing that one. And... Um, Go ahead and make this degrees Fahrenheit. I'm trying to think in Celsius for all those around the rest of the world. Yeah, I was sharing that one. Sort of and um, 15 degrees Celsius marks. A perfect day for running around and enjoying a game of football. Sunny and packed as always. Go over here. Real really quick. <clears throat> as per usual. Yeah, I was sharing the, the last commentary we just I just did um, with uh, who, who do we watch? Racing Louisville and Kansas. Portland. Racing Louisville and Gotham. That's what we watched. That's right. That's right. Okay, well, let me get to the game. Looks like everything's live. Looks like we're all well. And, uh, yeah, let's enjoy this match together. And, uh, yeah, if you already know what happened, hey, let's go, Houston. Super excited to see them again. Um, the last team, we've been we've been seeing them play, like, Challenge Cup teams again. So it was kind of like, ah, we already saw y'all. But... Yeah, one of those wins, Gary, happened last year. Let me do one thing. Final score, and really, Daly just had a brace. Here's yeah, Michelle yeah, Prince trying to make something happen. Right, Quick cool. boot out by Kelly Hubley on the Portland side. Going with a three-back setup today. Yeah, but anyways. Um, <clears throat> my bad. Got the, got the Houston drink back there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's see. Houston are in the white kit and Portland are in the uh, dark kits. So. Yeah, we saw Portland. Uh, they beat um. Sandra's trying to make a move. Gets in the 18. I don't remember who. What? Who, what was going on? Hey, hey, hey what's going on here? I forgot who Portland big, but we know Houston struggled, have been struggling. But they're playing away from home against Portland. And yeah, this is a, uh, looking at the Portland team, they, um, Klingenberg and Becky Salvern, I guess, are rest. I don't know, I'll just say, hey, okay, whatever, they're not playing. Because when we watched Portland last time, they were playing, Sophia was playing. Um... And so it's a different Portland team that we we just saw, right? But Janine Becky's in the in the lineup. I mean, Rock Rodriguez still in in the field. Um, you know, hey, this is the eleven Prince here at wide left. Ooh. And a shot for Sophie. Oh, okay, damn. All right. <laughs> yeah, okay, and um, action early in, Erks, action early. I um, took a little break. Prince here. I mean, Sophie had a good strike on it too. Hot day out in Portland. The sun is shining. This, this match happened on Saturday. But, um, uh, interesting, they, they gave uh, Obama a break as well, Houston, um, so we're going to have Shea Groom up top um, as a striker, so I think it's for her energy, um, I think that's that's why I would have had her out there. Very, very good. 
for her energy and uh, get this, you know, she's a... Uh, why not? She's a very... I like Shea Broom, you know? <laughs> really enjoyed watching that match and, as I say, two fabulous teams. And uh, Portland. Washington spirit. Yasmin. Trying to remember um, anybody else that I. She is in the starting lineup today. Uh, and lots of mixing and matching. Just I don't know why they were. You know, I don't know why they wouldn't rest Sinclair. I mean, she did play like almost a full. But. Hey. Who works best where? So very early days. The regular season. I guess if you're the dash, that besides the fact, as you quite rightly mentioned, they've had a, a full week to rest. They're looking at all these changes. They're looking at players like Madison Pogosh, who've only played once this season, and thinking it might take them a while to settle in. And we have a chance to get at them, test them, see if we can find any weaknesses. Ryan. In this match, you could have co stream. You see that little co stream up there? This match, if people want to commentate, like, you can act. Well, Pretty much what I'm already doing, but just uh, through their doors. But I don't, nah, we ain't about that life. We want to stay independent. <laughs> we don't want to do all that extra stuff. Um, Last time Houston played, also a draw, 1 1 against Racing Louisville. All the scoring in the second half. Really at the very end of the game, Nichelle Prince scored, put Houston up 1 0. And then McDonald with the equalizer. Yeah. And again, everybody got a point in that one, but Houston was looking at a victory until that McDonald score. And talking of Dash doing well, their previous match to that at Kansas City Current, 2 0 win. They did so well there. Ready with a penalty. Oh. And then one at the very, very end by Vasali. Shay Groom, oh, get the foul. What? Okay, Shay Groom got to calm down. <laughs> That's why I think they have a chance here, Dash. The fact they can go to Kansas City Current and get a result. And they were on their game the whole time. And yes, six minutes. The minute, but this is uh, Houston's fourth match, I believe. Yeah, this is their fourth match. And then they're going to be playing um, North Carolina Courage after this match. So some good, ma some good uh, opponents. I feel. I mean, I think North Carolina. I think yeah, North Carolina's team is way better. Well, if Portland have a good team, but they just, I don't like it when teams don't start like their best team, in, in my opinion. Um, like, this isn't cute. This isn't Portland's best 11, because I'm sorry, I'm starting, I'm me personally, I'm starting Morgan Weaver and Sophia Smith. Pretty much every game early in the season. I mean, you're young. Uh, this is my opinion. Um, Janine and, you know, all the, the internationals. I mean, so. But um, with that being said, Shave Room getting talked to. And you nearly made contact there. One, two, yeah. I think he's saying the third one, and you're going to oh. end up with the book. So she does want to make an impact, Shave Room, and be physical. But I think you have to pick the moments. Difficult, though, because if the ball is bouncing in the box as a striker, you've got to go for it. But now she's on a warning. She knows she has to be very careful with the next raised foot or elbow or tackle. Groom with uh, <laughs> four career goals. Only Rachel Daly in this Houston lineup has more. Weaver turning on the Jets. Kicked out by Campbell for Houston. Jane Campbell in net for the dash today. Bella Bixby on the other side for Portland. Oh, sorry, enough. Off to Sanchez, three assists in the Challenge Cup. Doesn't have one yet in the regular season. Daly trying to make something happen. Houston will retain possession here. See head coach Sarah Loudon, acting head coach for Houston as James Clark Clarkson, excuse me, is under investigation. And Loudon, was an assistant though with the dash assistant at Penn State, so very qualified for this position. As she says, we're always excited to play against the best teams, and we hope to raise our game. Well, sorry, y'all. <laughs> nine minutes. They're looking. Just one second. Daily with a touch out to Sanchez. 
surveys wide. Hanson coming up. Makes good tackle, good tackle. Off the tackle. We've got a corner coming. Porch, porch. Bogosh not happy. <laughs> Feels it should have been a goal kick. But again, good early pressure, pressure from the visitors. And I'm still trying to figure out who our new manager is, because, uh, or if we're going to get one, or what's up with James Clarkson, because, you know, everything we had discussed in the Gematria decode of the things that are going on. Plus, you know, into society in general, what's been going on with, uh, you know, everything that happened, that transpired uh, with um, all the coaches firing last year. But here's a corner kick from Sanchez. On top of the box, who was that? It looked like Hedge, maybe, that got a shot off. Yeah, cool, cool. All right, so now I identify the, some of the players. Because I recognize this lineup more than some of the other lineups. Because um, Hedge is still new, is a new player, to a new face, and then pretty much out in the field. I mean, I've seen Sanchez because we watch a lot of um, Tigas. But besides that, everyone else is, you know, we recognize, I recognize the face, the faces, so. Left for Weaver. And, you know, I really think Eddie's a great player, too. So I'm looking forward to seeing a little bit more Eddie when Chapman's not available. But, uh, yeah. A hundred career starts in the NWSL. He's got 72 with Chicago and the rest are with Houston. And uh, shout out to everyone um, that's, uh, you know, continuing to watch you know, the, the commentaries uh, and, you know, just support, you know, whoever team you support or just support uh, like women's football, stuff like that. And um, I hope you enjoy the match as much as I do. Rip off through. Oh, my goodness. Oh, big save. Number 20. Who is this? Number 23, Ryan, with a good shot on target. I'm surprised. I mean, that should have, that could have been a goal right there. Cut through in the middle of the pass. This was in clear the pass back to, I don't know who that was, but Rocky, Rod Rocky Rodriguez. And a good ball in between uh, Chapman and uh, Chapman and Sanchez here. And uh, she gets a shot, but Campbell comes up with the, man, with the ball. Only All right, so this is Janine. They have her more in the, I guess, uh, a wide position. I have her labeled as like a, um, like a left, a, she's like a right mid wing wing player. They have her, Janine. Um, I was trying to see where she's playing. So, yeah, or sometimes they might have her more defensively. I'm just like, ah, Portland, that's not, it sucks. Cause like, I've, Janine, she looked so exciting uh, when we watched her in the last match uh, with Portland, and I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was like, I was, like, I can't become a Portland supporter. Uh, and um, so, like, that was one thing I was thinking about. I was like, hold on, hold on. But shout out to the girl Janine Becky. I'm not gonna forget that she was just a citizen. Um, you know. Just a couple of probably weeks ago. I think she might be on loan. Hopefully she's just on loan because I don't want her to leave City just yet. Uh, so hopefully this is just like a little loan real quick. Just to keep playing, you know, because Canada is not going to be in any um, internet or well, any European match, right? Because the Euros. Also, 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 the transfer season opens in England Ju June 17th. And uh, I have some topics. I have some actually. I well, I have some things I want to share with you all. And I think um, also I just wanted to share that. I think also the Euros. I guess we sh it would make sense, right? I think the Euros will also influence some of the latest decisions. Those that are wanting to leave and wanting to stay, and their current geographical location, right? When it comes to the team, and I think what country ends up winning the Euros will show us and tell us a little bit more as well not not just um what we see on football wise but also behind the scenes uh so i'm looking forward to some of that uh but happy gemini season uh to everyone happy gemini season the best season has just started it's my season gemini season i'm a gemini son okay on um, portland thorns we got becky sauerbrunn she, she's not on the field but me and her share the same birthday so you're you know june 6 okay 
point. So she's a Gemini. Um, the only Gemini we have on Houston is Abang. But shout out to her. Okay. Uh, but Christine Sinclair, who is also out on the field, is a Gemini. So she'll be celebrating a birthday as well. And I'm not too sure anybody else. But for sure, let me just let y'all know. Abby Wambach, she's a Gemini. She's going to be celebrating a birthday as well. You know, all those goats and, 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 and women's football you may know of. Or heard of. Yeah, the two top goal scorers in women's football internationally are Gemini's. Don't forget that. Um, just like just, <laughs> just reminding you. But yeah, it's our season, so you know we gonna talk our shit, and uh, we're gonna be mature and wise about it. But we're gonna we're gonna just talk, you know we're gonna bring the flames, you know. And I'm excited because, um, you know, I like I said, I'm happy we're gonna be focusing a little bit more in WSO now because it's back. And there's a lot of more players and two new teams to get, like, uh, two new teams to get acquainted with. And also Houston is a new look in Houston. You know, I think the mission for Houston, of course, is playoffs. Houston have never made the playoffs, and the mission is playoffs. And um, I feel like every year they take a step closer. I hope this is this year. Um and um yeah yeah i really think this needs to be houston's year uh to make the playoffs and so that's the mission that's the vision that's something we put out there as intentions to go through and for houston to experience even if it is the last day of uh, the match oh more oh she all sucks that was so close they're still playing. What the fuck? Oh, okay, okay. Let's see. Damn, because Morgan Weaver almost couldn't score that. <laughs> this flunkness. But I think, didn't she score? I'm trying to figure out if she had scored the last time I saw it. But I, I thought I had written down. Yeah. I think it was a one to one now. Why is it a one to one? Morgan Weaver in the end. She gets it past Jane Campbell. And brilliant defending there from Katie Norton. Well, that's why she has a hundred. Yeah, Washington Spirit versus Portland Thorns. It was oh yeah, it was a tired sleeper match. That's what I put. I was sleepy. <laughs> so they, the match put me to sleep. I was getting rocked to sleep. We didn't really see too much action with these two teams, Portland and Washington, which I was kind of disappointed because I was like. You know, we got some exciting players on here. Y'all only gave us one goal. They gave us they gave us one goal. And Sophia Smith ended up scoring it in 57th minute, right? Wait, hold on. No, was it 1-1? One, one? Hold on, hold on. I think almost two goals, maybe. Sophia Smith and Ashley Hatch. And there we were thinking that I said uh, all these changes. <laughs> it's just Portland Thorns playing their normal fantastic level of football. Oh, but I put Portland were the better team. Uh, Washington's lack of opportunities. Had some goal line clearances. So it was still I did I did put some positive things. Uh, for both teams, okay. Well, Ash has to continuing to score real well. And Portland had, you know, their superstar Smith scoring as well. Uh, so I think, you know, I can understand to see. Um, I just think they should get the reps in between uh, Smith and, and Morgan, um, so they can have reps together. And I feel like the quicker, the sooner, the better. And because you know, Sinclair, she may retire this year, but and you. Yeah, I think they say she's going to retire this year, right? So I guess that's why she gave the minutes. But I'm just saying, hey, hey look, look. Let me not say. Shout out to my Gemini's. Let me, let's shout out to my Gemini's. All right. Houston, 18 minutes in. Not too many shots on target. Uh, besides the last one we saw from Morgan. Um, Houston, <clears throat> the back line. You know, Campbell's the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? The Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? She had a lot of good saves. Uh, in the prior matches, and, you know, K9, hopefully, uh, damn, look at that shit, look, 13, 3, and 3, all-time versus Houston, okay, I mean, that's a great stat to write down, let's see, 13, that's what they're showing us, 13, 3, and 3, hmm. Let's 
So they've only fucking lost to Houston three times. In Providence Park, Portland, Oregon. Hmm. Off the head of Groom. Interesting. I think I remember when Houston beat Portland in Portland. It was a good match. Portland had a stronger team uh, out there than today, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, Houston, you know, you, we've been around. Here's Chapman looking for... Okay, Sanchez out wide left. Okay, already. Let's see if she can get... Gets, oof, nice cutback. Get across in the box. Oof, that was Hanson. Good shot from Hanson. Mm. Good moves. He saw the the skills from so set from Sanchez, uh, keeping the ball in play, and uh, you know, I can't wait to watch North Carolina again, honestly. And I got to see who else is uh, you know, you know, we love the uh, face ups. We love to see uh, what the ladies have in store to try to get past one another. It's like a, like I said, it's a it's an ISO one v one when you're you know isolation. How am I gonna get past you? And you know it's gonna be it's this, there's fun matchups because it's like 90 minutes, right? And as the if you're it's always better if you're the attacker, honestly, because it's like you have you're in the offense, if you're playing defense, you're kind of like. But then again, if you're you know a player that's uh, skillful and confident, you can keep up with the best and shut them down and not fall for those tricks. But corner from Houston. Ooh, room with the shot. But Bigsby, Bella Bigsby, I like uh, Bella Bigsby's uh, uh, last name. But I think she's another tall goalkeeper as well. Um, but Daly, was that Daly over there? Take the point. It's better to have the goalkeeper touch the ball than not have her have any saves. Um. To say for Michael Redchuk, he doesn't get a chance to see it again like we did. Right. I didn't think it was a handball first either. With the benefit of replays, we can see that it almost certainly was. Oh, nice. Ultimately, VAR would be no foul. Referees. But that was a no, little chip over here. Uh, Ria's front gonna pull out the tricks today. See, I seen the little uh tweet uh, they have put up, uh, Becky Janine. Um, they had said something. I, so I think her name was Bombi, which is, I think, very interesting. And um, I got to see what that actually means, but uh, it sounds like Bambi, you know what I mean? Let me see what happened with Janine. I think Becky just tripped over her right foot. I think she just kind of like landed weird, awkwardly. But yeah, you want, you know, Janine is, uh, you know, used to play for Houston back in her, I guess, her younger days. Yeah, I mean, she's still young, but back in the day, I feel like she's been around. I've been seeing her a while. But Janine, yeah, we're happy. Uh, I'm, ha I'm happy that she's uh, back here in Dewey because we didn't really get to see too much of her with Man City after the new acquisitions. Uh, so yeah we but we probably won't see it too much because we're not going to be tuned into portland that much but we'll see when it comes to uh the matches and everything like that but yeah shout out to jenny becky um in canada got the canadian connections on the field here the sinclairs and the, the beckys and the smiths and the chapmans all that good stuff the canadians and prince <clears throat> Canadian heavy, Canadian heavy, uh, you know, vibe out here, a little bit. She is on the pitch. We were talking. I was a thing about going to Canada. I don't know if you ever watched uh, Big Brother in Canada. Um, I watched a couple seasons, and honestly, those are some of the uh, very enjoyable people. Like. Um, at least for one half to to watch you know i don't know if you know about big brother but so you're right just mixing it up i haven't actually ever watched it any other um i guess big brother in a different country and canada was the one the first one i decided to watch and it's it's pretty good i, I like it and the seasons that i've watched the care in the play the players that i 
that I was that I was able to watch, like, you know, play the game. No, it's pretty good. Canada's good people out there. Sinclair, Weaver. All right. Left inside for Rodriguez. Defense stonewalls just for a heartbeat. Portland looking to attack. We got about five in the box. Houston back too as well. <clears throat> Francis track. There's a big shot, shot. deflected off a of Portland body. Hmm, it's very interesting. Uh. Daily Prince come up trying to force a mistake. Becky gets tripped up. Slippy, slippy, slippy uh, field here. Providence Park. Uh, Houston. Coming, Hubbly. But Portland do got a lit stadium. I like their stadium, though. Snaking through. And I think, I think, uh, in Oregon, I think, is marijuana legal? This is exactly how the best I'm pretty sure it is. Hold on, I have a whole picture of, like, legalized, um, trying to find the seams, and then Rodriguez found Ryan right here. Here she is, Ryan. Marijuana. <laughs> Defense collapsing well for Houston. Here it is. Uh, Oregon, yeah. Do very well. They control possession. They get you running. Legalized recreational and medical marijuana. So Portland, Oregon, yeah. Dash on the back foot at the moment. All those white shirts behind the ball. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, so Portland have uh, legal. They can smoke ganja. Which is always awesome. Legally, so you won't get in trouble, and um, that's what's up. Uh, besides that, they got a little stadium. I like their stadium. And they always have a good crowd, too, so the people you see, the people there in Portland, they, they, they fuck with the football, you know what I'm saying? It's consistent. Which is well, which is what um, you need, and that you need in a town to have a football team. You need that consistency because it helps the um, you know because we're the economy, so it helps teamwork makes the dream work. So we're all helping each other uh, in that way, in that that aspect. If if uh, we didn't have to. I'm sure Dash fans are, are happy the team is playing a lot better than in the Challenge Cup. They really struggled there. But as soon as the regular season started, they seem to have ironed out most of their problems. Interesting, the Dash conceded in the first half of... Okay, the Houston, here's Sophie. She has print, but it's Daly here. So Daly's playing more of a, um, like I said, uh, she's still a, a striker, but she's playing more in the midfield. And... Um, I'm okay with that as long as she's able to get some strikes off, you know. Um, because I do feel like if England could use, I feel I do feel like if England, you know, if anything, you know, got ha happened. When I look at England's roster, they lack attack. They lack um, strikers in that aspect. So, um, Daly could be called to be. To to feel, you know, that more of that, you know, that striker, that striker role she plays with, uh, you know, Houston instead of, or more still in a more attacking way. This and what she playing right now, she may be more called to play uh, a more of an attacking role with England, just depending on how things work out. Because um, I think that's where England are suffering. I think they have everything else. They have the midfield, they have the defensive mid midfielders, and they have the strike, the uh, center backs. I just think it, when it comes to attack. Mm, it's, you know, play there from it's not depth enough, Gets it back for Houston. but they're too talented to lose. So <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the thing that we know with England and the Euros. And, you know, if I'm not too sure if any of the teams have any more international, if they have one more or two more international matches and then the Euros, we'll see. But here's Daly here looking for a groom. She cuts across, but I was a, you know, Heavy run she had to make and it's tough. So with Shane Groom here now we don't have that physical threat. Uh, Abam, um, Abam can, can play back towards the goal and hold up the ball for Houston. So with Groom out here, it's more like kind of get keeping the ball on the ground and trying to feed her on the feed her um, and use her speed or she has a quick burst. So it's a different 
more on the it's still on the ground um but Houston don't have that that presence uh, up top but here's a uh, Sanchez and that was good uh, of course uh, that was Prince stepping in for that tackle Prince always able to get like her foot on the ball like it's like all the time so Becky Rodriguez Here's Ryan again had a Yeah, Jane Campbell hasn't had that save since that uh it like it might I think it was a Morgan shot or no it was um jump back number 15 Barrage shot. Uh, from from that nothing else Portland haven't taken any shots. Um so we are waiting we're waiting for that to ensue. Houston, you know, playing good defense. Uh, and get Portland giving the ball away, and it's very interesting. I can see that this is the fourth match they could do want to they could want to rotate, and I know the Challenge Cup, um, Portland were in the semifinals, so they played like Challenge Cup. It felt like it was really long, so I know they played at least five football matches, right? At least five or six. So this could be like their. Um, <laughs> Eighth or ninth, eight or ninth game, so I can kind of see the rotation, but mm, I don't know. They're not really creating too much, Portland. Just saying. Prince with a shot, touched over. She did have someone on the right to feed it through. Bixby, easy. She looked, man, she saved that so easily, fam. That's what. I, <laughs> I she just touched that over. Ah, uh, just uh, let me just what? Bro, like stop. That's not even fair. I had this little uh, like a volleyball tap, right? Like a fucking a. <laughs> all right, all right. So corner for Houston. Let's see. Uh, we can find the teammates. We saw Mewis, man. Honestly, Mewis looked pretty good with uh, Gotham. Not gonna lie. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, uh, best best wishes to her, you know what I'm saying? Here's Houston on top, this hedge. Hanson. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, she looked good. And, um, you know, she needs to finish her strikes. Finish her, finish her opportunities. Like, she was creating so many good opportunities for herself and couldn't finish them. And you just got to put them back in the net. And got them look pretty fire with, when you put person and you start the right player. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, I like I like Gotham. They 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 were that game was so Gotham and Racing were pretty chill. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed that um, that game. I got to see just a whole bunch of players like uh, just they gelled well. Both teams attacking. You could see the urgencies and like it was just uh, really good to see. Into his cell football back, yeah. Okay, Sanchez here. Always, <clears throat> that, yo, I'm telling y'all, the next. Everybody plays twice. Ooh, with Carolyn, with ooh, with Carolyn here, and hopefully Dominio starts bringing. I don't see who I, we don't have some some um with. Yeah, I think with Carolyn here and someone else is here. I swear, um, but the the players are bringing out their. Uh, but especially with Sanchez and Carolyn coming into the into the cell, they're gonna really, really put on a show for us with their skills. And we've already seen it, and I'm really happy Houston to have one of the players. And then I'm still waiting for our Argentinian Paulina to come through. Oof! Janine did, did her teammate. She she did she did Prince like like that. Um, yeah, so I'm still waiting for the Argentinian to come through. Um. I don't know if she's like wait if she, I know she's still young, but uh, I don't know if she like we want I want to see her play too and do herself football uh, while she's here in Houston. Come on with it, Houston. Um. Well, they're from Portland because they Portland just lack that speed up top. You see, you know, with the Sophie uh, Smith. You, ooh, is the late tackle here? Jeez, <laughs> so they played the advantage though. Yeah, I think. Okay, Sanchez. Okay, yeah. That was weird. 
We were waiting for the referee to call, but I guess he didn't, but... Edge. Daily. Blows by Rodriguez. Yeah, so Portland lacked that speed up top. Um... And... I think this is why their counterattack is kind of like... Eh. Slow. And they're playing a three back, and this weird, it's just a weird formation for Portland. So you have no speed up top, and you're playing in a three back? I don't make it make sense. Like... Opportunity for the coach's top. Ah, and they're not even maintaining possession of the ball in the midfield, so it's like, okay. Fairly even. I think both coaches will be really happy. Just at right ankle, you can see it just go over. Have a look. So they're looking at Daly, see, seeing what, why she uh, tried to pull up here. I think Thorns will say what we've made. She don't feel good. Uh, I don't know. Is this match going to have a water break? Because I thought we would have had a water break by now. Maybe not. Especially first 10 minutes and... We haven't conceded, which is what's happened in the previous three league matches in the first half, so they'll be reason to be happy as well. It may now. May now have a Daily <laughs> walking off gingerly. We'll see if she comes back in. It looks like she's setting up to. I can't afford to lose Rachel Daly. Such a fabulous, fabulous player. Look, no, she's all right. Mind you, they must be happy that Sophia Smith is not playing on the other side when we, when we were chatting to Sarah Loudon and she actually picked Sophia Smith out and said we've got to take care of her she's one of the best players in the good league. crowd Portland sure when she got the it's a nice day out there bro like ah, this is on a Saturday too Saturn day Houston got that yeah, and that's the thing about Portland is yeah nice crowd you know what I'm saying good day out there in Portland I have to go visit y'all out there Especially in today's world, all right. So, about 10 minutes left to the first half, uh, both teams, you know, uh, not too much given, not too much shown. So, hopefully, they can uh, pick it up a little bit. This is a good fight here again, but Morgan stays strong and she gets shot off. Rodriguez. Mm. Ball deflected, Austin Clare, clear, Houston. That was, a, that was a good fight right there. I think that was uh, Katie Naughton and, and Morgan here. And Katie Naughton uh, ended up losing that uh, that battle. If we get a replay of it. Austin Clare. You see it there. If it ricocheted off the ball. Yeah, that was Katie Naughton and Morgan. Katie Naughton and uh, Morgan. Good fight. I like the strength. We got to see the 1v1 right here. Good ball from Sinclair. And uh, Morgan ended up getting the shot off uh, with a nice goal for her. Uh, Katie, you know what I'm saying? Got to stay inside of the player. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Sinclair. I think, she, I think she didn't get hit with the ball, but... <laughs> they had to call out. They are. They had already called out the medical staff. For the for the goat. Is one make sure the goat okay? <laughs> Sinclair. At your breath, fam. Okay, good moves on the left here for. I don't know who that was, but. Here. Let's uh, Houston get away with Prysock to room room playing a little deep, but with the foul in the midfield. Well there. She's under huge uh, pressure. See, read numbers. She draws the foul and that takes <clears> all <throat> the pressure off Houston Dash. They can now relax, push numbers forward, and try and play out from the back. And once again, that's the importance of Rachel Daly. Not just goal scoring, but the ability to just do the right thing at the right time. Years of experience, great skills, and football management. And just saw her true value there, just taking that pressure off the Dash. Prince. Yeah, foot race here. Prince gets there first. Let's go. Prince on the left, on the right. Trying to get past two. But good double team from Portland. <clears throat> but Houston still have it. A little touch pass. It's hurt. You know? Alright, this is Hanson here. Daily in the mix. Okay, good header daily. Not on target, but hey, is there. Is there from Houston? Oh. 
she had got it on mm. target. You fancy that Bella Bixby would have been able to make the save, but once again, and it's good. It's good going into halftime. You know, you're attacking the other team on the front foot, away from home too. Career goals and of active players. Well, I should say Lynn Williams is out with a season-ending injury, so she's not technically active right now, but she is on the Kansas City roster and Sinclair is Portland playing from the back behind Sam Kerr and Williams in goal she's two behind Williams so it's likely she gets there this season but Daly who's only 30 mm. all right they found Janine Becky here oh all right Chess. Chapman teammates Birch okay he gets a shot not on target but she had a good strike in the first couple of minutes. Well, it was like probably not sure that couple of couple minutes. But it was pretty close to the start of the match. But that's it for Portland. She's, yeah, really, that's in Morgan, I guess. I would say Morgan, yeah. She's had a couple of opportunities, two bites. Oh, three bites. Campbell saved the first. So I guess the first one for sure. You've got to fancy that. Around the 60th minute, mm. there'll be a whole bunch of changes as the big names come on and they attempt to pick up all three points. So for those, should we call them fringe players, players who need to prove a point, the next 15, 20 minutes are going to be crucial for them. Here's Ryan. Again, she had that really good look right at the beginning of this half. Becky. All right, uh, old girl open wide right, right, I guess left, but uh, good, you know, yeah, had some runners in the box. That's quite a straightforward cross there for Jane Campbell. What number, uh, what player is this again? Uh, I was trying to see, this might be um, either Nally, no, or, or, or Coffee, Coffee. Jane Campbell, just the one clean sheet. I think it's coffee. City. Number 17 for Portland. There, yeah, that put the ball in the box. Prince. Alright, Daly has it. And so, also, Houston playing more with a, a one striker. It's like, uh. Gets there, settles down. I don't know, I would rather have Obama and Daly being up top and then playing, like I said, I wouldn't mind he's playing in a 4-4-2. Um, but, you know, that's, you can have Obama, Daly up top, or if you want to play Shea Groom, okay, and have Daly in the midfield, okay. Daly, Smith, Daly, Smith, Prince, and Sanchez in the midfield. And then you have um, Abam and Shane Grew up top, and then you had the four um, defenders, and then you have Jane Campbell. So a four-four-two, yeah. Chance to finish out strong. Prince here, she gets past three. A daily shot. I don't know. It didn't have no power. Just pulled up the expected goals here. 0.66 for Portland Thorns and 0.43 for Houston Dash. So All right, about like three Portland minutes left, first half. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, no, we had a goal in the first half in the second half. And we had a goal in the first half of the last match. Uh, Houston, nine shots to Portland, six. So both teams, they say they've been taking shots. And uh, over five, that's good. Corner kick Yeah, remember we gave you that sat, Gary gave you that sat. So far in the regular season, Houston has not allowed a goal in the first half. And that coming after allowing a goal every one of their right. six Challenge Cup matches, a, that's a really big change. <laughs> Coffee on the corner. All right. The corner kick for Portland. Mm. Got two runners right here. No uh, I'm trying to see. Looks like Rocky Rodriguez and Christine Sinclair. 
We're there in the mix. Again, hard to see amongst all those bodies and referees and assistant refs have to be sure that something has happened before they can. Yeah, she's been positive for Portland Rocky Rodriguez for, and you know Sinclair, you know had a nice dime to Morgan as well, you know, but just this lacking, just uh, the, no little extra factor. If maybe Poroch could, you know, and or maybe even Janine just get a little bit more. Uh, help uh, more offensive because I feel like they said uh, they have her in such a more such a limiting position instead of the inside instead of the outside wing she needs to be like the inside Janine so she can take the ball in line uh, inside uh, but they have her too far why do I feel like she won't become you know she's they gotta be. They have to, when they do switch the ball, they have to switch all the way over just to find her. So mm, she needs to play more towards the middle. I think Portland can uh, can help her and help and be more influential. Or you could play switch Parrot and and uh, Becky out um, one wide. Uh, yeah, just switch them. Three minutes extra extra change first half. Other than that, Morgan Weaver has really been good first half, creating fantastic opportunities and very unlucky not to have one in the back of the net already. Her, Sanchez pulling out her tricks. We'll get three minutes Everyone's getting the smoke. <laughs> Portland Houston first half action. Of course, we're in Oregon, Providence Park, beautiful arena, tons of fans. Late afternoon match two on the West Coast. And for Houston, this ends a road trip that's been lengthy. Three straight away from PNC Park. Well, they get three straight at home now. North Carolina, Orlando, and Portland. They get to meet Portland again. So they can unpack their bags. and set got new faces on the sideline for Portland. She looks familiar. I think she was a uh, football player. I don't, I don't know her name, but... Um... New faces Portland. on the sidelines. May have some new managers, new new management. Becky. Well, yeah, Portland though, always been good ever since Becky. I've watched them, because they got the support. That's for sure, Houston. Still growing. Or she immediately makes changes at the half. Becky with the touch. Ooh. Ryan. Man, that was a good setup from Portland. Gets there first. Um, nice bit of, bit of play on that right hand side. Lovely football. Unfortunately for Morgan Weaver, the final product isn't quite what she would have wanted. Janine was able to get um, a one. That was Rocky to Janine to to Porch to to Morgan. That's perfect. And she just got to finish it. But it was a tough like tough angle because I got in a way was she was she running towards the ball. I guess she just caught her, right? Didn't have the, the speed. Back to Katie Nutton. Or the power. Saved a goal. It was easy for Jane Campbell. In this first half on the goal line. But Houston. From you know. And Nutton just denied her. Good little touch from Ooh. Here's Daly from nice Houston. pass from Prince. Daly, she got a score. Yeah, there you go, Daly. Well done. Right before the halftime. Ah. That's a dagger, in Portland. That's a fantastic goal by Rachel Daly for a moment. That was such a great touch from Prince. Was able to cut through and find, and that ball was like curling back right towards Daly. I thought it was gonna be all weird, but. Uh, happy Daly. I'm happy Daly finds back in that. Right here, this is that looked like prize sock that ended up whipping it through. And maybe the bully the ball bounced. Old girl jumped it and she missed, timed it. And Prince ended up. And then, ooh, old girl ate it. Number five, when she was cutting back knees. Oh, damn, son. <laughs> she was falling. She, she was just falling. And then, hey, that's sometimes how you, how you have to beat tall goalkeeper Bixby. And because she, she tried to, like, curl it out wide, like, she might have saved it. It was kind of near post. Damn, Portland all the way. All the way in the box, Rocky. That's blocked. Oh my goodness. This first half ain't over. <laughs> wow. 
the first half craziness scary at the, the well uh houston up one nil off of this 48th minute goal from daily 40 45 plus 3 48 minute goal um from prince uh the assist from prince houston up one nil Okay, Houston. Have a go at Houston Dash, but Nobody was. I didn't expect that, dude. I didn't. did look just a little quick turn. You know what I'm saying? Prince was able to. You know, I think the ball with the ball bounce was weird as well, and you know, ended up falling into Prince's. You know, couple touches and Daly was onside. Daly still had some time to finish it. He had a player cut back and fall, and. uh but yeah, don't forget to uh, check out Anita CBD joint. Uh, yeah, Anita CBD joint. X hashtag extending CBD knowledge. Okay. Um, while I get the the second half fast forward for y'all. Excuse me. So we can get out to the second half, right? I bet. Are oh, you back at it? Got a very sunny day in Providence Park. For the second half. Yeah, let's go. Houston up one nil off that. Er I mean, honestly, off the surprising goal. <clears throat> but I'll take it because. Um, Oh, we got some subs. Uh, number 14. Comes in. Kawuke? Beaver. Coming in for Porch. See what happened with Portland. But still a corner um, I didn't like... That's and then we got, uh, 46. Also on. Porter. You do think you're going to see the big names at some stage if they don't get a goal. Portland for Port. coffee and, um, Porch. All right. Those are half time subs. So for a center back, I mean center back. I can't uh, like a, I put her as a coffee number seventeen. I put her as like a, a more of a center midfield, and um, Barch was like more like a left midfield player. She had like a couple strikes. Is she on the field? No, no twenty three. Yes, yeah, twenty three. No. Okay, that's or maybe was, was it Ryan? Rodriguez. I'm not too sure now. Anyways. <laughs> Intended for Sinclair, Schmidt gets in front. Second half, Portland. They gotta come back 1-0. Uh, see how Houston can build off that. See what we see in the second half. have this free kick. I must say I'm a little bit surprised that Taylor Porter came on. I, I thought there's a couple of big names that they would have gone to to turn this match around. Obviously, Sophia Smith, but even before that, Klingenberg out wide. If you want Quick on one side of the pitch bombing up and down, what about Klingenberg, Sugita in the midfield? Um, nothing against Taylor Porter, but you would think with no appearances so far this season that this, this would not be the right time to bring someone on to try and turn the game around but hey maybe she'll prove us all wrong happy happy for that to happen oh good oh I almost the ball almost stayed in for uh sophie yeah it's fine daily to the point of so many games in so little time just over a week eight days three matches for portland and maybe they just really feel like certain players need a, a very long rest Rodriguez, a little awkward there. Groom swipes it back. Schmidt. Quica, again, often in the starting lineup for Portland. Okay, okay. By the way, it's not just Portland Thorns who have options on the bench. There's a couple of useful players that Dash could bring on. One in particular, Michaela Abam. Oh, but I didn't show y'all. Um... Uh, yeah, so I have been. I ordered a uh, CBD gummies for my website. Okay, so check that out. I'm gonna have to put it in my ticker so y'all can. I can remind y'all. 
the gummies. Um, missed times to daily. Yeah, here. Yeah, you get the feeling a bam will probably come in just for you know groom. I got six and two, four, like six, right? Because, you know, with this press that Houston is putting on. Six. But I got six in here, so they, I like them. Uh, I'm a, there's a 15 milligram, 25 milligram. So um, I think the next time I'm gonna order the 25 milligram just to see how they uh, how I react and respond. And also give you all you know my take. But also we smoking on. Um, or <laughs> we got the sativa. Um, Green THCO sativa, and this was orange. Both of these were sativas, and these were um pretty good, pretty good. So um, the next thing I'm trying, I think, <laughs> will probably be Delta Ten, but uh, after that, I think I tried them all, and um, you know, I think uh, the oil. Are pretty cool. I, I like this because it lasts longer than you know smoking up actual joints. But I might uh, take a break off this and uh, get back to the joints. So you know, I like to mix it up with smoking and everything, and I like the gummies. And so we're gonna see how the oils do as well a little bit more. And you know, what I'm saying CBD, NTC, and how uh, they help you in your life. You just never know. Give it a try. CBD, you're not gonna get you know the high um like you would feel with the thc but both uh beneficial i think to us as people <clears throat> and that's why I, I use both and that's what i'm starting to learn like i can use both in my life and i not too much not too little i keep going <laughs> but uh yeah let's get back into the game um also i wanted to let y'all know um, the the transfer season for the FAWSL, the English League in England, um, the transfer the transfer window opens June seventeenth, and I was saying in the last stream that I think of course the Euros will have an influence on where the ladies may go, take their talents. We already know, we already know that Georgia Stanway she's going to be playing for Bayern Munich. And uh, I actually need to see what's going on in the French League and the German League or in, who ended up winning in the Italian League, who ended up winning. Because I want to see how I can be better with, you know, showing more of those matches as well. And I think I just had to figure out how, a system. Uh, so, yeah. We want to try to tune into more of those matches. And I think we'll be able to do it on Twitch. YouTube, I'm not too sure. Because YouTube has so many rules and regulations. It's like... Uh, I can't stream anything on YouTube, it feels. So we might be streaming on Twitch, uploading the videos later. So if you want to catch me live, you may need to start tuning more into Twitch because YouTube is just, you know, uh, I don't know. Anyways. But yeah, we're going to be watching. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to watch uh, a lot of Euro matches. Hopefully, we're going to see, fingers crossed, how the streaming works out. Ooh. And... Um, what rules and regulations twitch but i have no strikes on my channel so i'm so happy and so i'm like okay so i'm like right now i'm trying everything uh and so we gonna keep it pushing we gonna keep pushing i'm gonna keep it pushing um shade room here down for the count no 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 too big uh she hasn't had uh too many hard challenges on her, which is well, because we don't want to see you know Shea Groom get hit. Their attention and see if they, you know, make any errors. It's a chance for Sarah Loudon, who hails from Newcastle in England. All right, water break, real quick. Last Shea Groom. It's a real hotbed of soccer up there. Yeah, lots of experience. She was with Houston a little bit as an assistant. Of course, went to Penn State. In the college game, now she's back in the NWSL. As Groom comes off, it looks set to go right back on for the dash. Again, up 1-0. Rachel Daly with that goal in stoppage time to end the first half. Let's see if Portland has a response.
All right, all right. Yo, also, y'all, I want to let y'all know, I got myself a, um, a, like, a water filter pitcher, if that makes sense. And so, like, now my faucet water, uh, when, I, when I turn it on, I, I go through the filter. Um, it, like, the pitcher filters the water, so it's, like, not as toxic as if I was drinking straight, fel straight faucet water to crack down on, um, you know, buying bottles of water. So I was like, all right, you know, this is in a way uh, a good way. And so the water tastes real good. I can taste the difference between, of course, faucet water and the filtered water. But the pitcher that I'm using is called Zero. So it, I like the water and I enjoy it. And um, I bought it at um, was I at Walmart or Target? Portland Thorns, even though they're 1-0 down. They're trying to figure out where I was. Um, I think I was at Walmart. Yeah, I bought it at Walmart for like 25, no, like 23 bucks. And they got like filters, so like my water. Man, they even showed you like on the, um, man, I'm over here flunked out talking about a pitcher of water. But it'll show you like whose water is like most toxic and how long their filter pitcher like could last based upon as many toxins there is in your water and it's just like what the fuck and it's like you know how they said i showed you i had a map of like all the legalized marijuana locations it's like a map of all the dirtiest water uh and you know honestly it's awful because water is like very you know useful and we bathe with it brush our teeth with it and clean ourselves with it so it's like so dirty, bro. We're dirty. It's so dirty, bro. Fuck. But yeah. So I like it. The water tastes good, and uh, zero is the water pitcher filter that I'm using. So it wasn't my idea. Uh, but uh, I'm grateful for that <laughs> for that person that gave me the idea to get one. Cause good ass water, so good ass water. Get loud in head coach for Houston coming in in a tough situation, and you know we mentioned this, but Houston has one of every decision so far in the season. And you get to see Houston's coaching staff right there. It's a little different, man, and I like the vibes I'm getting from Houston. It's gonna, um, and honestly, you know, you know, you never know. You know, it's it's like oh my goodness, like what the fuck. Clarkson, did you really do it, bro? I thought I I didn't want. <sighs> Anyways, I don't want to talk about that. Anymore. So close to home. So 56 minutes here, Portland. You know, losing one nil. I need to figure something out. Ah, uh, they see they brought in some subs, right? No Sophia Smith. Honestly, she would be the first player off the bench. Is she hurt? Did she get hurt? Um the other the next match I do want to watch is um I think I was watching since Fair versus Oil Rain. And then I heard Alex Morgan was doing some things and there's Chicago. But I can't wait. I need to hurry up and tune into Angel City because um Yeah, I need to hurry up and go and tune to them. So I may tune into them like pretty soon. Ooh, that the post. What a chance there for Portland off the head of Ryan. Oh my goodness. Portland on the front. Morgan here, the shot. Ah. All right, here come Houston with Sanchez. Who's with us? Who's with us? Oh, they got... Well, oh, she goes for the glory. <laughs> she goes for the glory. Um... I don't know why she did that. But this is Sinclair here. Her shot was a uh, ricochet. Oh, okay. And it was Parach. Uh, whose header went off the post. So close of one. Two times her, her, her. I mean, well, one. Another time. Number 15. Uh, another time. Uh, another great opportunity for her to get, you know, a goal. For herself. Ryan looks good, though. You know, coming in. Basically, uh, you know, as a maybe starter for Portland and you know 
she's been open, had a couple of great shots, and two near scores. And again, Sinclair deserves a lot of credit just for the way she creates. 38 years old for Portland. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Her numbers are insane. This is supposed to be. With the Thorns in the NWSL. I mean, it's just unreal. But... Uh. Portland needs a goal, desperately right now. Down a different commentator, a different uh, cube. Hansen, this one's supposed to be a different... Um... Right back with <laughs> there you go. Weaver. Okay, here's Morgan again, and she's been active, but she needs some help. Are they going to give the advantage? Yeah. Getting called back. This is uh, Janine. Sanchez tracking. Janine shot. Ooh. Okay, Janine needs, needs to do a little bit more of that. She can find her space. Um, I just wonder at what point Rian Wilkinson looks at Sophia Smith and says, right. start to warm up, because if you want one player to break through a defense, well, I would think she'd be the top of your list. You might also want to bring on some fresh legs, be it Klingenberg, Sugita, quality players who can come on and liven things up, because they're certainly had some decent pressure the home side things you know balls bouncing around set pieces hit the crossbar but if it's not going to be your day then you want to bring on a striker who can make it your day and clearly that has in my opinion to be sophia smith smith two goals only multi-goal score for portland in the regular season she's only 21 so a lot of time with Smith left in the NWSL and just preserving her for maybe later maybe not depending uh, on how this goes Portland Toe in that line I'm going to throw in here for Houston trying to hang on to their lead yeah I don't think they're going to be in any hurry to get things going no <laughs> We got about 30 minutes left for this match. Sanchez. Broom. Back and forth they go. Sinclair. Not beats her there. Right back. With Houston up 1 0. And uh, like I said, I just don't think this. Uh, Houston dash, look at the closing down, look at the white And uh, yeah, this Portland team just is a little weak. It's, it's, it's not easy for Thorns to play their way through. They're going to have to switch it as they're doing there, try and push the Houston dash players from one side to the other. Mangus. Hubley. Ryan. Shell from Chapman keeps on going. I think I'm a foul here. And a whistle, and it's going to be Houston ball. It's Ryan there just with a, a late tackle. As and I'm interested to see who Houston bring off the bench first. Yeah, a little frustration boiling over there for Ryan. Sarah Loudon will be more than happy with this result so far. What a way to start things there, even though it's an acting coach position if you keep winning it very right. soon becomes a permanent coach's position portland working quickly oh this foul you haven't here yep good good step in from shade room taking one for the team right there uh order with the heavy touch again just killing the game getting a set piece slowing things down that's exactly what the Dash want to be doing. They're doing it really well at the moment. Porter's going to get a Break yellow kick, card. First card we've seen in this match so far. Yeah. God, God. yeah it's on the ankle. It's a stand Ouch. on the ankle. And it stops a goal scoring opportunity as well. So I guess it is worthy of a yellow. We'll see a free kick here for Houston. And it looks like we have got a Mengis on the side, just switching out a cleat and a sock. Is 
Oh, what's going on with you? You have players' time issues? <laughs> My shade girl is down. She's alright, she's up. That that stinger's gonna sting. Actually, it probably gonna sting. He's sore a little bit. Okay, he's to keep the ball on the ground daily, though. Takes a shot. Way off. Mm. Okay, fine. <laughs> so, I don't get this up though. Why would you bring off Rodriguez? She's had a great game. Why would you bring her off and then bring Sophia? That doesn't make no sense. Again, Rodriguez, very you keep both. <sighs> just bring off Sinclair. A, a simple. You know what I'm saying? See how the young kids will do trying to come back from the front from this. Right, it's only one goal, right? So Smith in for um, Rocky. She ended up scoring the only goal last match. Well, oh, sorry, her and Hatch. She ended up scoring the goal for Port. Yeah. But, um,. Good 35 minutes. So at the moment, she's in sole possession of 11th place. Sophie? Ooh, Take that's in the back of the net. And <laughs> that's what the fuck? She like hit it and she like Sophie fell, I think. <laughs> that's what it looked like. She That's a, that was a bullet in the back of the net. Well done. Right out to the sub, man. So... 65th minute. So let's see again. So there's Sophie here. It's against Sinclair, her teammate. A little right behind her, see? Sinclair, she did a little okie doke. Oh, she got a nudge from, she got a nudge from Sinclair. <laughs> she ended up taking a shot. <laughs> so she did her teammate. Well done. Uh, well, it's 2 0 Houston. So Daly and, and, and uh, so we got uh, Ryan coming in for Sanchez. Houston, they take out Garth, Sanchez, our rookie, and now the our rookie, again, must feel a lot more and and for Sanchez, what interesting, goal. What a goal. Sanchez had a good game, we got to see a lot of, you know, little, little flicks and tricks, flicks and tricks, uh, skills on the ball for her, they said 66 Becky. minutes, it was 65 minutes, uh, uh, Again, we mentioned this at the beginning of this match. In 19 tries, I didn't get to see who assisted the goal for Sophie, but as Smith plays with it. I'll wait to finish my thought. Sinclair, Ryan, six six. You know, well, six is my number. So they've played 19 times these two teams. 13 times. All right, will Portland come back from that? I don't think so. So looks like Portland about to become three, three 13. Um, three and four, something like that. To this game. Still a, still a to go and, you know, he's to have to really fumble three goals to, for them to come back. One, three, three, four. And I, I don't see the, I don't see this Portland team right now doing that. I mean, now they have Smith and you saw Morgan and and Rory. It, you have uh, Sinclair still on the field, Morgan, and now you have uh, Smith, and you, know, you still have Janine out there. Um, they're just like taking out the, a player that was performing well and brought in a player you know that has been performing well instead of keeping the player that's been performing well like Rocky on the field, bring out someone that hasn't really been the sideline was late to get back on a free kick as influential as Rocky was you know, and then, so again, with but hey I'm not mad here's like a lower body injury <laughs> but a scrambling going on in that Portland Thorns bench but you know it's not very often that the Thorns concede two goals in all their matches this year it only happened once against San Diego beat them by three goals to two and to be fair they were three nil up going into the second half and maybe just took their foot off the pedal 
but not many teams come to Providence Park and score twice. So incredible performance by the Houston Dash and Sophia Schmidt, what a good finish <laughs> in the top corner. Seven match That's unbeaten streak. Seven, mm -hmm. seven matches without a loss too for Portland. Well, that could come to a that's nice when uh, Houston can break some streaks and break some portals. Break, you know what I'm saying? Fuck. <clears throat> and at your casa too. That's that's always nice. Miss any time this season, Challenge Cup. Oh, uh, look for something. Otherwise. So that's right. Right probably why you saw Wilkinson just. With 20 minutes left. Figure it out. You know, you, she must be hurt, Emily Mengus, when she comes off because she's tired. Providence she's Park. Committed. So clearly she has Good match. an injury problem. Houston. You know what I'm saying? Good match for Houston. As Looks like Becky Sauerbrunn coming in. Sam okay, Sam. I see. It's not too difficult for Portland. They have a player of Sauerbrunn's caliber to check in. But I was going to say, you know, Houston, or excuse me, Portland, their last home loss was to Houston in October. For me? So for some reason. Last 20 minutes. Yeah, so Houston pretty much just have to maintain, um, you know, keep Portland in front of them. Don't allow Portland to get behind them. Um, stay focused, ride it out for these 20 minutes, get three points away from home, and um, <clears throat> prepare for North Carolina at home, I think, at home. And, uh, you know, what we saw in the stats, they said had like nine shots in the first half. Um, you know, there's more shots for Houston, and so they can find the back of the net. An interesting players. Well, Sophie with the goal. I don't think she scored yet for Houston this season just yet. But it's nice to see you know you're kind of more of your sitter midfielder get get the ball in the back of the net, and uh, she's gonna be pretty happy. It was against you know one of the go her teammate. Sinclair and uh, Daly's first goal powered Houston through first one right in the end of the first half right um a great um ball from Prince ended up finding Daly she found back in that beat Bixby near post oh. those are the goals Hansen here, she has Prince. Hansen has some space. She has Prince. Oh, looking to find. Uh, ooh, that was Ryan. I think there's Garis here on the left. Dive there. The rookie! But she's getting a lot of minutes. Like, she's been on the field, like, almost every game, I think, or every other game. So, though she's getting those minutes here and there. Uh, but, you know, I see you. You're out there. You know what I'm saying? Chances of dash, there's nothing to say they can't put a third in and kill this game off completely. And that will be unheard of. Yeah, but she's a player, so we gotta enjoy the players that we can see, right? Makes sense. Here come the thorns. Ooh. There's a shot. Oh, that flash crossed. Everyone was there. These three players, Just three Portland players. And shooting and almost hitting that. A great opportunity there for Portland. Becky. Near miss. I just wonder if she was shooting or trying to get the ball in the box for Sophia Smith. Okay, this so this is a ball from Jimmy. Has she bossed the box here? Yeah, I think she's going for the pass to be Ooh, honest. That was Smith, that was and, uh, supposed to look like stick. She was looking for Yasmin Ryan and the near post Sophia Smith and didn't find either. But they're gonna keep probing Portland Thorns. You know this is gonna be a, a battle now for the next twenty or so minutes for Houston Dash, but the benefit the visitors have is the second goal now. And even if one goes in and you leave here winning 2-1, you still leave with all three points. So they really have got themselves in a great position, have the dash. Weaver. Final f final 15. Nally. Also, if you want to... There's Morgan Weaver again. Um. He's been in the game since the jump. Becky. Hmm. Tries a service, earns a corner instead. Oh. Not that one, I guess it's weird. 
Just one clean sheet in nine for the dash this year. And I'll tell you what, if you can come to Providence Park and keep a clean sheet in front of those fans, then you'll double the number of clean sheets. Be proud of Providence. To boast about. Sinclair, Campbell. Jane Campbell says no on that one. <clears throat> Got some help from the defense too, but again, here comes Portland right back at it. Smith. Woo! Close. Okay. That was, that was a good strike from Sophia Smith. She put a bit of top spin on that to bring the ball down, but and, uh, to begin with. When it comes to Sophie, to, to Smith right here, young player, and uh, I'd love to see her and who else now, and Catalina, like really tear it up for USA, honestly. So I expect like, great things from, from her, and uh, she's in a good squad, pretty good environment there to take care of her. She's going to have a lot of opportunities to continue to become better, and, and uh, We'll see what comes of her in her journey and her story. Probably. A lot of exciting players, young players for Portland. They had the uh, the youngin Here's Olivia. Ryan. So I'm I, right flank. just to spark some the fact that she's already in the league. So just shows like you know qual in a way quality. So um, honestly, the next thing I mean, if we'll just get some more minutes and. She's in a great environment as well, too, to, to be able to do that. And USA, you know, I feel like the younger the better. I'm just saying. If they're ready, clearly. She played professional, clearly she is. And what is. Yeah, anyway, so yeah. Shout out to Olivia. And, uh. We'll see how uh, her, st her story goes as well. Young. USA players coming through. Long ball left for Groom. Porter tracks back. Adam ball is the ball stayed in. Portland maybe didn't know that. Ooh, Daly. Well, she, did she have finished that? Ah, that would have been too nice. Too nice. That ball hit the corner flag and everything. Oh my goodness. Who's to say that doesn't end up in the back of the net? So once again, a little bit lax at the back, Portland Thorns. Grove. Right, she grew here. Receives. Prince. Prince. Schmidt. Yeah, you just have to keep it. They don't have to do anything, you know, too outrageous, but continue to want to look forward and think about attacking. And if the opportunity arises, why not? Um, but just, you know, more uh, effective, efficient passing and not, nothing to rush because there's no need to in that way, but keep the urgency maybe. No, and that, you know, we've seen teams score two goals in, you know, Shorter time than we, shorter time than we thought they could score two goals, huh? Huh? Nice moves from Sophie here on the left, on the right. I mean, it, it was a tippy toe. That's a couple, couple of poker players. You can see the number of white shirts there with that high press, and to be high pressing. At this stage of the game, and there's, oh, there's a really, really good side. Ryan is going to exit the game for Portland. And Portland, Sugita, Ryan, we're talking about Stina. what she can add to the Thorns roster. Well, she comes in in a tough situation. Her team down 2 0. Here's Sugita. Quick takeaway from Prysock. Groom is down. Daly. And it was kind of there by herself. Defender swarm. Porter and so, only one sub for Houston. Right 
to the camera. Hmm, no, I don't think Santa's came off or anybody else. <laughs> Only one self in Houston, so. Brian Garrison. You think that the amount of work her players have done closing down that she'd need some fresh bodies out there, but and maybe we've got to pick out the fact they haven't played during the course of the week the dash, so maybe their batteries are a little bit on higher charge compared to Portland Thorns, who had that really tough match against Washington Spirit midweek. Because they just they just keep on going here, the dash. They haven't had a need to make a sub, I guess, because they're still closing down, they're still She's still got a spit, yeah. And yeah, that's what uh, Smith, I feel Smith. But you know how Mal, you know, you just, when I look at, uh, well, when I think about the play and the speed, it's like Mal, it's like Sophie Smith is like a younger version of Mal too. Like, what's like, they're, I feel like they're like, Mal's not that much older than her. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, geez, because they're both quick. And uh, I just think Mal, Mal is just more mature and an older version of Sophia, what Sophia could uh, potentially become like a threat off, off the dribble. I think Mal is a very good distributor more than I thought. And I, I was starting, I'm very impressed. But yeah, she's infinitely a game changer, Mal Pugh. And Sophia, she's just kind of growing into, she, I think she needs to get to the striking phase and then I guess the passing, the more influential type of role comes through the field. Uh, but yeah, when I see stuff like that, like they'll quick a little ball, she still got to the ball and she's still able, still able to maintain, you know, and then she has the ability to have that quick first step uh, and wanting to charge at the, the defender if the defender doesn't meet her. So it's just, you know, the opportunities uh, that she can create for herself. But um, still in development, still getting to know her craft even more. So we'll see how, how that all goes. But, and also what opportunities the difference presents the players, uh, you know, and angles and stuff like that. And it was the second space. That's of it, you know, that stuff. Good pressure again, forcing Bella Bixby to rush that kick and puts it out into touch. So it looks like we've got right. a bomb is coming in. And also, she's going to be celebrating a birthday. She's the Gemini. She's working so hard. So, Prince is coming off our bomb. So, now Prince, you know, did she have that assist? Yeah, she had Prince had the assist to Daily. So, again, a BAM healthy battling back. Prince had the assist to Daily, so. Yeah, Prince had a good game. Here we go. Alam's first touch is already challenging, and she wants a challenge against Becky Sauer. Run, Gemini, Gemini. Maybe let's go. First touch is always first touch is good. Already putting making an impact. And uh, yeah, we, well, I'm not just, I'm not saying I like about just because she's a Gemini, but that's very very beneficial. Okay, especially for Houston. I feel like Houston needed this energy. Let's go. You know what I'm let's go. All right. All right, Houston needed this energy, that they needed some Gemini in the team. Let's go. So, um, I'm really happy, uh, and Houston are winning tonight, so it's always a good time. Um, and your team's, you know, winning. And, uh, you get another big game next weekend. I look forward to it. All right, this is Aris. Here, she's going to take this corner. Number 21. Get her and a band, they're the only two subs that Houston the rookie. Used. <clears throat> Our only draft pick of 2022. Daily is short. Available. Daily is so she, something special. Chosen. <laughs> Especially to go to Houston. Above here. On top. Oh, yeah. They keep on Houston. Eight minutes left still. No unnecessary shots. Just maintain. Ah, oh, my goodness. But luckily, Jay Campbell was out. See right there? Yeah. yeah. Jesus. No foul given. The ref says all, all shoulder. All, all ball. Shane Groove out there. Okay. Uh, so. so, also interesting that, like I said, so our rookie was the first player to come off the bench. And then it was, uh, and for Sanchez. I'm like, what the fuck? But Houston were already up to no, right? 
and Nova for um, Ritz, so it's like, okay, some players, you say that we're looking forward to calling upon when, you know, Prince and Sanchez are playing, you know, because it is the fourth match of the season. Player down right now for Player down for Houston. For Houston, that looks like Hedge. This is Hedge. She took a knock, but I don't think she's going to be in any rush to get up. She needs to buy a little bit of time for her teammates so they can get a bit of a breather. And also, what it does is it just calms the crowd down. The crowd getting excited and it all slows down. Very frustrating, no doubt, for Ian Wilkinson. Yeah, perhaps a little gamesmanship going on. Garris will throw it in for the dash. And Reem Wilkinson probably made those five changes thinking, well, I've got such talent on the bench. If I need them, I can bring them on. But she's brought quite a few of them on and it still hasn't turned this match around. It's always Let's the danger with making a lot of changes and resting your... You can do it yourself. And I don't know, should I look at it? Things go against you. It's sometimes difficult to turn the match around. I'll probably look at the I will look at the brackets just yet. I'll look at the standings. Um, I think Wednesday. I'll look at the standings Wednesday. See where everyone's ranked because I don't want to spoil myself on any of the matches. Because I still has a I still have a couple more matches I want to watch. So I look at the the, the standings um, Wednesday because of course I'll be the new week. I'll be the fifth week of Indonesia. So then. I think it started April 23rd, April 29th, right? We're already about to be uh, about to be May, May 29th, we're like at May something, May 23rd. So it's been about like at least good. This is like the fourth week of football for some teams, maybe the third. But um, trying to think. And you know, with five minutes left, two 0 down, you're frustrated anyway. If See that again, it's long. Oh, it is Houston. I'll be right back. Houston, go right out. We're going right out with this one, Houston. Go right out with this one. Listen to the crowd. They're not happy either. Well, they're not used to this at all, especially against Houston. We talked about that Houston beat them last October at Providence Park, but also, you know, 19 games, 13 losses, including the first ever Houston game in 2014 was a loss to Portland. So there's not a lot of good history for Houston against this Thorn squad. As Daly goes flying, she's down in some pain. Quika's gonna get called for that one. Again, if she started the match, if Klingenberg started the match on the other side, would it have been a different outcome? Possibly, but Who's to know? If you look at expected goals at the moment, it's pretty even. So basically, the Dash have taken their two chances, one of them by Rachel Daly. Brilliant finish. And the other one, Sophia Smith, even more brilliant. So maybe that's the summation of the day. The chances for Portland Thorns not taken in the first half. Kicked off the line. Great defending by the Dash. And their chances, they're buried. And that's what separates the two teams. And in case any Portland Thorn fans feel they've been hard done by it. They were lucky not to have a penalty given against them in the first half as well. So I don't think it's unfair to say that the well, Dash possibly deserved this result. Uh, they really have uh, been a fantastic performance this evening. All right. Yeah, and of course, like didn't that. give up at the very end of the first half. Rachel Scott made something out of nothing, came back, scored. Put Houston up 1 0 in the driver's seat at the so half time. Like and then you Schmidt, a free take for Houston. When it looks like Portland, now, you know, Smith is coming in, things are changing. Daily, she, uh, she put in her 41st. She put in her 41st goal. Was it? Conversation with her or 40th goal. Because I know where she scored 29, 39 goals in the 39th minute. Gamble. And then either this is her 40, 40th or her 41st yes, goal. But, you know, it'd be nice to see if Daly can hit double digits in goals uh, this year. I mean, anybody if they can hit double digits in goals. I, I would look forward to seeing that. I feel like, uh, just in general, I think uh, scoring in the league should be uh, uh, important. 
And I'm just out when I looked at some of the leagues and some of the goals with their score is pretty crazy. So individual players are scoring the many goals. And so uh Weaver I wanna see, I wanna see who's gonna put up the goals. Put up the goals for Houston. Uh, but somebody, uh, at least five, at least five is minimum. Uh, I don't think five is too much to ask for. I would even say six. It's like a minimum goal, like it's six goals a year is minimum. I mean, as a striker or an attacking player, like, that's not too much to ask for. So, we'll see who can, uh, who can, you know, accomplish these missions. They have created the frustration you're currently seeing on those Portland Thorn faces. Send wine for Portland. We're going to get a fair amount of stoppage time here, though. And here's uh, Janine here. But uh, looks like this is, this is Eddie. Did Eddie come in or? That looked like, look like chat. Way oh, this high. is uh, Garis here. Playing uh, against corner, though. Becky. Okay, I see. Catch a break. Sinclair. Back to the corner. Chad is on the field, though, so. Smith. Broom just takes it back. A bam. Off the deflection. Five minutes for Houston. Harris. And then he gets a. Of stoppage time. Go to bed. Again. Well, you know, nicely uh, with the dub for three have... points. To start Gemini season, bro. To start Gemini season, Houston was winning. Is winning. We gonna win this season. It's Gemini season. So it's good to see. Uh, Good ball over the top to find Daly here. Players just hoping something happens. They need to control that ball a little bit better. Rachel Daly shows them how to do it. Get on the end of the ball, play it to a teammate, and get the throw in and just work the clock down. It's hard. It's hard to find any fault with Houston Dash. They just have been top class. When Jane Campbell. All right, the girl was Sally. That's right. Ooh, she scored the goal. Did she score a goal when she came back? Oh, we just saw her. Two goals. Oh. Every single box, and I think <laughs> Sarah Loudon will be one of the proudest. But now I'm just getting. I'm remembering so many things. Hedge is gonna but come Pasal, out. But yes. No. And then we'll see, we'll see her more. One potentially for Hedge. Okay. For Houston, Vizali comes in. Vizali has a goal in the regular season, by the way, for Houston. Last couple Houston minutes. Has two, and then. Three other players have scored for the day. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look at my notes. Oh, I have my, my uh... Okay, so Gita trying to go fast. Oh, and here it is. Houston Dash versus uh, Kansas City Current. Uh, Daily scored, 39 minute. Okay. And then it was for Sally. Yeah, she scored 2 0 in the 96 minute. Okay, so I was right. So Daily scored uh, versus Kansas City Current right before uh, the Manchester, which is Chelsea, FA, the Vitality Cup final. Okay, so. Yes, Houston on back-to-back -back W's right now. Okay, I see you. And then they're going to have to play North Carolina. It's going to be interesting. See if they can get three wins in a row, Houston. It would be really nice. And get some, uh, you know, Portland. And then, but North Carolina will be, for me, the uh, the game that I'm looking forward to see. Uh, this lineup didn't do it for me for Portland, in my opinion. But, okay. Sure, she's just so eager to have I'll, I'll, the taking the W, the taking the W. And uh, yeah, I wanted to tune into Gotham a little or they look spicy. So uh, I'm happy because I was trying, I was trying to figure out, and I didn't know. I thought I forgot he was heading over there. But um, yeah, and also racing looked good as well. Look at these white shirts. Look, one, one covering as well. Oh, I think I just had a good, a good day. Oh, what's in the end of so. Controls in the 18, makes a move, headed out of trouble. Is that Schmidt again? Two minutes. Slow to get up, but a corner coming for Portland as we near the end of this one. It's a typical case when you fall behind the team that has the lead, they get energized, they're prepared to put their bodies in the line. And that's what they're finding now. This this Houston Dash team, they're desperately trying to hold on to this 2-0 lead. 
through the air. No great shot. Chapman, top of the 18. Sauerbrunn gets past Daly. Sugita. Hmm. Portland fans, credit, still very engaged in this one. Want to finish with a score? Yeah, Portland uh, needed that, uh, that spark. In the 18, uh, Weaver. Weaver goes down. But here's a corner. And I think uh, Klingenberg's influence is very influential on his Portland play. And you know, her not playing, uh, they didn't have that, they didn't have that uh, much service, Portland. Um, so, something. Be the one to take the corner as you see. I think Pine missed. But they had some good opportunities uh, in the first half. Uh, some. It's just uh, Morgan, especially. Uh, she had some chances to actually pull, you know, Portland level or get actually in the lead. Um, just gonna make it happen. Used to end up getting this. Oh, you must go. Getting second, join second in the table, and for Portland Thorns, well, it's a long season. They'll they'll climb their way up. I'm no doubt about that. But uh, bit of a humbling moment for them at home, and sometimes coaches. Can five minutes. Position, I'm sure Ryan Wilkinson. Coach will do exactly that and say, hey, you know what? Nothing's a given. You're going to have to go and work for it. And that's how they'll bounce back. And that's it. Well done. Houston, get the big road win. Big W's. Yeah, that's what we like to see. And daily, like I said, they got the three points on the back of the shirt. Um, oh, it's funny because 13, 3, and 4. It's pretty funny. The jerseys that scored. Anyways, thank you everyone for tuning in to Anita's Joy. Hashtag Extended Joy, where every day is payday, baby. Shout out to the whole soul group, continuing to be individuals. Uh, shout out to the whole soul group, continue to be an individual just by being yourself. But it's your girl Anita flying high, flying out of this third dimensional reality. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.